like it's different kind of reaction. Somebody is looking at you and they are excited. Someone is looking at you and they are so shocked. <laughs> some like for the kids, some will cry. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, like I have this experience. I went to the immigration. I was extending my tourist visa, and there was this child, uh, four or five years of age. She came with uh, he came with a mother. And you know, the minute that child saw me, he started crying. And I was like, what's wrong with this child? So every time, the only thing that made that child calm down was he had to bend his head down. So every time he, he, he looks up and sees me, he cries. I was like, God, really? Am I that scary? <laughs> beautiful people I am Cherono and with me is my beautiful sister Winnie and today we are going to be doing a video about our first impressions of the Philippines so without further ado let's just get straight to the video so guys the first impression I got when I arrived in the Philippines even before I lined that guys the heat it was very hot and I remember my sister had gotten here before me and she told me, oh, it is very hot in the Philippines. I didn't believe her. My goodness, when I got here, even before the plane landed, immediately I just started seeing the buildings. It, I just, the, the heat started hitting. The grab where I was using to go home, to, to now go to the house. Oh my goodness. The AC was running, but I was feeling so hot. So yes, that was my very first impression of the Philippines. That, oh my goodness, this country is very hot. Yeah, actually that is so true. Like, uh, it was so hot. First of all, I didn't expect it. I didn't know. I had no idea. Because, you know, in Kenya, it's really cold. <laughs> so I expected the same of Philippines. But when I got it, it was extremely, very hot. And then, the funny part about it, I told there was something wrong about me. I mean, there's, there's something wrong with my head. Everybody else is sweating. It's not sweating. It's not sweating. But actually, the, 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 the family that hosted me, like, um, okay, not everybody was sweating like I did. <laughs> so, like, I was sweating. It doesn't matter what time it is. Like, you're just sweating. <laughs> I'm from the shower and I'm sweating. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was the very first thing that hit me when I first put in the food. So, guys, the second impression I got in the Philippines. Oh, my goodness. Everywhere I went, everybody I saw, they looked alike. From the <laughs> airport, guys. Filipinos looked alike. They looked like everybody was, was everybody's sibling. They looked so much alike. Until I was even telling Mr. Oh my goodness, these people look so alike. And she was like, she had the same problem. So guys, I could not even differentiate my neighbors. I go to the I, I go outside and I see my neighbor. My neighbor will be like, hi, hi my friend. And I'm like, hi. And then I'll meet her again and I will not even know that I'll that one is the other thing. But I think it happens to everyone. Like you cannot differentiate people. They just <laughs> they look the same. When I was in school during this time, when I was still fairly new in the Philippines, I could not differentiate my classmates. Like they, <laughs> as much as I could tell them that I cannot differentiate them, I, I used to struggle with like secretly. I remember this time, like when you're in the stairs or in the elevator, you cannot differentiate people. Like I, I would meet somebody, I'm smiling at them, I'm like, hi. <laughs> They look shocked and I'm like, oh, really? What happened? <laughs> and then when I meet the, 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 the person I'm thinking, um, I was thinking like it was them, and I'm like, oh, I met you, honey. I'm like, where? <laughs> <laughs> like, they were all looking alike. So, guys, I don't know if Filipinos also have the same problem with Africans. Do we look alike to you? Like, when you first see us, do we look like, we, do we look the same? So, comment down below, let us know. Could be the first thing that really got me when I the other among those past things that got me is that um, I don't know I don't think it is Philippines alone but but like the reactions of Filipinos when they first look at you 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 attract this kind of attention like people were looking at me all over like oh Jesus Christ you are in the mall they are all staring at you it's like they are looking at somebody I don't know. Because it's like, it's different kind of reaction. Somebody's looking at you and they are excited. Someone is looking at you and they are so shocked. <laughs> some, like for the kids, some will cry. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, like I have this experience. I went to the immigration, I was extending my tourist visa. And there was this child, uh, four or five years of age. She came with, uh, he came with the mother. 
And you know, the minute that child saw me, he started crying. And I was like, what's wrong with this child? So every time, the only thing that made that child calm down was he had to bend his head down. So every time he, he, he looks up and sees me, he cries. I was like, oh my God, really? Am I that scary? <laughs> I think it happens. Like, um, you see, you're sitting with a kid, or somebody who has a kid, and you know, the kid is trying to move very far away from you. Like, they're always like, <laughs> <laughs> they will be moving even the, even maybe there's no space to move to but they'll still be trying to be moving to away, from, away you. from you i remember also this this time it's not like the kids you know this, this time i was just moving on my about my own businesses but then i came around uh, like i was walking like on foot so i met this woman an old woman like do you know what like okay we were going on a uh, opposite directions like i'm going this way and she's going the other way she had to stand like she stood and looked at me and not in a very pleasing way <laughs> you know mostly mostly most of the filipinos at, at least 90 percent of them they will look at you and they are so happy like hey hi they smile at you but this one lady she was looking at me in a it was so unpleasing the way she was looking at me and i'm walking like i keep walking looking back at her she's still staring not in a very good way. I think she was like, what is this person doing here in my country? Or such kind of... I don't know. <laughs> so guys, yeah, the, the staring, it's until, it's now that I'm, I don't even notice the stare anymore. I don't know if they still stare. I feel like they, don't, they no longer stare. No, they do, they it's do. It's just me that doesn't notice. But you, the, you, you go to say. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I no longer notice, but the first time I came here, I could just notice people looking at me, even without just looking. I, I was just, every time you just like walk by somewhere, then you will just turn around and people are just staring at you. And you're like, have they never seen black people? Or what is most, happening? Most of them, they've never seen black people. Most of them find that even back home when we see like white people, no, but most often we stare at them most. No, but it's <laughs> mostly children. They want to, to actually, associate yeah. with them. They they actually, they don't cry. Yeah, they don't try yeah, yes. to run away. Yeah, yeah, and it's they mostly just... children. But but for an older, for, for an older, I don't know, maybe other people, but I don't know. Every time when I was back home and I see a white person, I was mostly the kids. You look once. <laughs> you look once. <laughs> you won't let them notice that you are looking. <laughs> yeah, actually, you don't. Uh, yeah, yeah, that is true. Yeah. Anyway, guys. So another impression of the Philippines was Filipinos are very disciplined. Guys, I've, I've never seen such disciplined people like Filipinos. You go everywhere you go and they just like, they, they have to queue and they're just falling in line like nobody has to be there to guide them that, oh no, you have to fall in line. <laughs> Try that nonsense in Kenya. You know, back home, back home, you only fall in line when there's somebody looking at you. Yes. And maybe they're the, very strict. Maybe there's an authority somewhere. <laughs> and they have to really be strict because you'll come from where you're coming from and you just go straight to, to whatever but for them they will really follow they will fall in line in the restaurants in, especially whatever guys whatever especially they are. when you want to board a jeepney sometimes and they rush hour it doesn't even have to be rush hour but oh my goodness they are there falling in line it doesn't matter how long the line is you know as, as for me i'll easily get tired and be like okay you know what if this is the case let me just find other means of getting home i cannot fall in such a long line for us we just like I feel like we Africans are very impatient when it comes to side things and we are very undisciplined. Guys, for example, uh, the, the traffic lights. There's, you're, 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 you're so much in a hurry, there's nothing passing by, no cars, no people, but you have to sit in a traffic light. You have to wait for those count, for, the, for the countdown and I'm like, what is this? It's not like in, in, in Africa we don't have the traffic lights, but mostly it's normally observed only in the CBD, not everywhere else, like in the in the main highway and stuff like that so oh my goodness traffic the thing about philippines is the traffic <laughs> you know for somebody who you are not used to traffic and then you come to a place and the first thing that you notice is traffic actually i remember when i when i got here the first first day the first day when i got to manila so there was traffic <laughs> Try to understand. I come from this motor. Okay, I cannot say this hundred percent no traffic. This traffic, but it's heavy in the Philippines. It's something totally different. 
and then I started going to school. Jesus Christ, the traffic. You, you know, I used to ask myself, like, you know, Filipinos sleep a lot when they are traveling, like, in the deep means they are just there, then they are like, and I used to wonder when I first got here, every time, somebody is in the deep and they are just like, and they sleep so comfortably. <laughs> and, and, and like me, like, I feel like if I don't stop somewhere, I'll be doing this. But for them, the head is like this. And you never see it bend it. It just bend it like this, and you never see it uh, what falling, <laughs> <laughs> falling off or something. The falling off. They are just <laughs> so that is the, the other impression about the Philippines. The traffic. <laughs> For those who are not in the Philippines and you are planning to come to the Philippines at some point, just know this: very heavy traffic. And how to get used to it? Actually, right now I don't even feel it. Like I, I just, I just got used to it. Yeah, so guys, another impression of the Philippines. You know, when you when when, when like I like I've, I think I've we've said this a lot of times. Like before we get to the Philippines, we used to watch a lot of Filipino soap operas, Filipino movies. So let me tell you guys, the Philippines that we used to see in those movies is the same Philippines. And like when I immediately landed, I'm like, oh my god, it is just an exact the exact. Same thing that I used to see in those movies, just like that. There is nothing sugar coated, nothing, nothing. It's just Philippines. Like I, where I live, there is a sari sari. There's a lot of sari sari shops. It was in the movies. <laughs> the jeep please. It is in the movies. The tricycle. In the everything. See, else. There's this thing she's always when we go back home. She she was always like I really want to do that. Like um, you know Filipinos when they are wearing their soft drinks, they uh, do it from a plastic <laughs> bag and then there's a straw. <laughs> We used to see that in their movies and the soap operas, and she was like, I really want to try that. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks so nice. And you know, I used to look at it and be like, and let me tell you guys, since I got here, I've not even tried it. I don't know what. For some reason, but I'm not even <laughs> But I really used to want it. I used to see people just wanting the jeep, and I'm like, I really want to do that, you know? And I at least got here and got to experience it. So, anyway. So, those are the first impressions that you first found when you go to the Philippines. And it's not like, We've exhausted all of it, but those are the few that you will talk about right now. So, okay, so thank you so much for the support. Thank you for always being there for us. Thank you for being part of this family. <laughs> and we hope to see you all around next time. So please, like guys. Remember to like this video, comment, share, and see you again next time. Bye-bye. Love you.